And I'd like to talk about Photoshop Zoom Tool. Uh, the Zoom Tool is a very underutilized tool, but it's very important if you want to make some uh, detailed selections or if you just want to uh, get a closer view at some of the detail that you're working with uh, when you're using some of the different features of Photoshop. And the Zoom Tool can be found at the bottom of the toolbox, and if you notice uh, down at the bottom, it looks like a magnifying glass. Uh, if uh, you hover over it, you can see that uh, the letter Z is used to uh, activate the tool. So if I press the letter Z, it will highlight it and you can see that it, it comes in white uh, with a, to show that that's the active tool. Uh, by default you get a the zoom tool looks like a magnifying glass with a plus sign which means that you can zoom in on the document to, uh, to get a closer look. If you look at the document uh, bar you can see the name of the file and it also shows you the zoom percent. So right now I'm zoomed in at 48 percent of the document. Also down at the bottom of the document window you can see that there is also a 48% showing there uh, telling me the, the zoom level of the document. When you do choose the, the zoom tool uh, in the options bar you can see that there's a zoom tool uh, and by default the zoom in tool is selected. Next to it is the zoom out tool and uh, so just by clicking that I now would be able to zoom out uh, and then clicking back on the zoom in allows me to zoom in. When you do zoom in, you notice it's at 50%. If I click on the document again, it'll bring up to 66.7% and then to 100%. Clicking again will increase by increments of 100. Uh, and I think once you get to past 500, then it zooms in stronger. And you could go all the way up to 3200% zoom. And basically at this point, uh, all you see is the various pixels that are making up the document for that. No, I'm zoomed in so close that I can't see anything here. So if I quickly want to get back to 100% zoom, if I just go to the toolbar and double click on the zoom tool, it'll give me a zoom level of 100%. If you notice that the zoom level here, depending on the size and resolution of your image, uh, right now I have to scroll in order to see the entire image. Uh, if I double click on the hand tool, it'll zoom it in so that it's fitting the entire image on my uh, document window so I can see the entire image. And if you notice, there's no more scroll bars here to, to, uh, to uh, move because I, I'm zoomed in at 100% or at, at the, I have the full document. Also in the, uh, the options bar for the, the zoom tool, you notice that there's some buttons that you could press as well. Uh, the actual pixels would show you the, the actual pixels, so that's at 100%. Um, fitting the screen is like double clicking on the hand tool, and that will fit the document so you could see the entire document in the window. Uh, and the print size is the actual size of the document should you decide to print it. Uh, and again, that depends on the number of pixels uh, that make up the document and the uh, resolution uh, for that document. So uh, some ways that I use the zoom tool, so for example, I might be trying to fix up some of these blemishes. Uh, one way is uh, I could just use a marquee selection, which means click and drag around a document. And you can see I get the marching ants. And so by doing this, it'll just zoom in on the area that I select. So I click and drag around the area to get the marching ants release the mouse button and it zooms in right on the area that I decided uh, to, to select. Now again, uh, this might be too zoomed in, so a couple of things I could do is I could choose the, the zoom in, the zoom out, and just click on the document and that will zoom out for me so that I could get something to, uh, a bit closer view of what I'm dealing with. Um, and again, I, I could fit the screen or I could fill the screen. But again, if I want to work on a certain area, I want to zoom in and, and just work with that. Um, if I press the uh, shift key, if you notice, I have the, the positive zoom. If I press the alt, it goes to zoom out. Uh, and the, again, the shift key uh, is the default, uh, which is the zoom in. A couple other ways that we could uh, zoom in is by pressing the control plus to zoom in and the control minus to zoom out. 
and that's not working because of Camtasia right at the moment. Uh, other ways that I use it, for example, I might be using the Move tool and I decide that I want to zoom in without selecting the Zoom tool. So if I press Control Spacebar, if you notice it chooses the Zoom In tool. If I press Control Alt Spacebar, it's the Zoom Out. So then if I click, you can see it's zooming out. And again, Control Spacebar zooms in and I can do a marquee selection to zoom in. Or Control Alt Spacebar to, to zoom out. Just some of the ways that we could use the, the zoom tool to get a nicer view uh, and more detailed view of the area that we're working in.